Hi Spike. Spike, I'm first. Hi Greg, hi Manu, so I'm just getting myself a drink and stuff before I start.
<laughs> I got lucky today, Dave. Right, I have my drink. I have everything else set up. We're all ready and good to go. Hi everybody. I am in disguise today so we can date other birds. This is the best disguise I've got. And I have Pepe here for advice. So yeah, I'm going to need you guys to uh, feed me some pickup lines. Hi cutie. So yeah, I have never played this before. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm going to need your help with it. So. We shall fade this out for now. Right, let's find out what we're doing, shall we? The bird with a big ass. Welcome to St. Pigeonations. Please enter your name. This is some like. No, you shall not show my email address. Good thing. Enter your last name. There you go, we are in trouble actually a bird. I am liking this music well, this is like PlayStation 2 era RPG music this. Is trouble actually a bird? Okay. Um Yes. Tactful by friends includes a powerful visualization module, allowing even the birdiest of birds to appear as normal humans when first introduced. Display human portraits. No. We want to know if it's a bird. Configuration saved. Saint Pigeonations, a school blessed with extensive curricula and facilities. It's already been a year since I ended my ordinary life and walked through these gates. I should probably say this school is known for one thing in particular. School is Japan's and other world's greatest gathering place for gifted birds. Birds who want to study the arts, the sciences, even sports all come to Pigeon Asians. For all those sports birds. The teaching staff and student body are both made up of a diverse blend of birds of different backgrounds and species. I'm expecting you to tell me each one of these it is, Manu. I'm often asked why I chose to come here despite not being a bird. It's a long story. Not every day I see you rushing along like this. <gasps> Ryuta! Don't lie, Dave, you'd have killed to go to bird school. You're not allowed to go to bird school for the same reason Greg's not allowed to go to water parks, man. pigeon even though they're technically the same thing. He can be a little mischievous but he's responsible and kind. Breakfast was a little hard to catch today. I can't relax without red meat inside. 
flying rat. <laughs> You're not wrong, Spike. Living as a hunter-gatherer sounds tough. I'd be happy to make you breakfast, you know? I might take you up on that offer when starvation looms. Thanks, Ryuta. Oh, the bell already. Come on, we need to hurry to class. Jeep is no good being late on the first day. I'm sorry Ryuta pulled me along into the school. Today is the start of a new semester. I wonder what lies in store. All I could do to adjust the atmosphere last year. Better make up for all that lost fun. Oh, look at those pigeons. Scavenging like the rats they are. It's after your snacks, Greg. That's what it says. It's after your snacks, Dave. Sorry, it's Dave. It's after all your snacks. What will they learn? Horrible bird things. Most splendid and greatest academy of the pigeon. By the pigeon and for the pigeon. I think we're in 2 3. Ryuta and I in the same class again. Old faces, new faces, a strange thrill fills my heart as I look around at the assembled birds. <laughs> Leaves bird imprints on the glass. I had a, uh, a bird imprint on the window next to my desk at work for like the better part of a year. Because they, they get the, uh, the the entire building cleaned on the outside like once a year. And literally days after it was done, a pigeon flew into the window and just left like, just, like the dusty imprint on the window. It was there for almost an entire year. Oh, the teacher's here. Right, what's the teacher going to be? What are we guessing? Is it a pigeon? Is it a goose? A swan? <gasps> Kazuaki. Good morning, everybody. Hi, you racist. I'm human. We have already laid out that I am human. <laughs> oh, she started to fly. He flew into our lot and it says I would leave a dust mark onto it. Well done, Archie. Well done. Uh, I am Nanaki Kazuaki. I seem to be your teachers this year. I specialise in math and physics and also some other things. That means drugs. He's a drug dealer. Sir, wake up, it's homeroom. Sleeps with his eyes open. This quail is Nanaki Kazuaki, his famously sophrific mouth professor. <gasps> How dare you, Spike? But don't do that. That never happens. I heard the rumours, but I hadn't expected him to fall asleep just like that. Apparently he's well known as a mathematician. Just goes to show, great minds come in all forms. Ah, I'm sorry. Isn't it a little warm in here? Reminds me, we have a transfer student. Please introduce yourself, Shirogane. We have... Is this an emo pigeon? What's the point? I have no wish to speak with... No, he's just a stuck-up git. It depends on the kind, Dave. Or he could just be an albino. So what is the point? I have no wish to speak with commoners. Do not think I'm here because I wish to be. Oh, well, I guess that's that. Hey, hey, that's no good. But he doesn't want to introduce himself. But we can't just let him break the rules like that, sir. The system will collapse and we'll all turn into Kuluks and dissenters. What's a Kuluk? Well, when you put it like that, could you at least say your name, Shirogane? Shirogane Labelle Sakuya. Since his fan tail is Shirogane Sakuya, his feathers would make any birdie proud. Nah, I look a bit shit to me, mate. 
but he's still up and transferring is never easy. I hope we can be friends. No, I want him to get stuck in an oven by accident. No, Dave. No, no, don't be fooled, Dave. It's not a big ass, it's just feathers. It's all feathers, it's fake. I think this little bird is telling me there's going to be trouble down the line. Lunch already. Today is slipping by so quickly. And you have these books out from the library all summer. I'll return them now. Where is everybody? Aside from the receptionist, there's hardly anybody here. Huh? Someone looking at me? Probably just my imagination. Or not. A morning dove stands in a dark corner, staring in my direction. Morning doves aren't very common in Japan, but apparently they're everywhere in America. Uh, did you want something from me? He looked away. Not really. Pretty sure it was him who I felt looking at me. There's no one else here. Are you sure? Yes, I don't want anything with you. It's things you're carrying that I'm interested in. Glances at the desk to save. Hurry up and return them already. Is he a nerd bird? Eh, sorry. They're a little too dense and I'll never finish them. Were you waiting for them all summer? Charlotte returns his gaze to his book. Maybe he's in a bad mood. I'm actually a bird trouble. A sophomore, what about you? You're your... Nageki. Fujishiro. Nageki. Fresh one. He's a nerd! Fujishiro on the Nageki, huh? Maybe it's just because he's a morning dove, but he seems a little sad. He is the, he's the emo kid nerd who sits alone in the library. That's what he is. Leave me alone. Reading his book again. Okay, sorry to bother you. Keep missing depressing people today. I right, have that out of the way. I think I'll head back to class. Wait, isn't that... You should have been instructed not to be approach me in school. Yuya. Come on, Sakuya, what kind of thing is that to say to your own brother after all these years? <gasps> Brothers. My brother, you must be joking. You never once been a brother to me. Please don't talk to me again. I've no time for half breeds. I'll be going now. Hey, wait, Jester. Yeah, he does look like a cunt. Guess even if we're in the same school now, what's done is done. I haven't meant to eavesdrop, but I think I just overheard something juicy. I have a proper defense setter and ladies man, Sakazaki Yuya, is Sakuya's brother. Wonder what the story behind that is. Hey! Had that whole thing right? Are you a friend of Sakuya's? I'm sorry. Didn't mean to listen in on you. Haha, <laughs> no sweat. I just say sexy and suave in front of all you little ladies. But it just wasn't too cool. Found tail pigeon is Sekazaki Yuya, opera classman. Never taught to him before he's famous or infamous throughout the school. Everybody knows of him. The trouble, right? How did you? I know everybody here. Besides you, you're the only human. Single poppy in a field of rye. He is a bit cheesy. A bit. You say you were a friend of Sakuya's? Not exactly. We had a rather ballistic introduction this morning. We're in the same class, that's all. Never thought that stuck up aristocrat wannabe was your brother. Aristocrat wannabe? He is an aristocrat, actually. The genuine article. He's a bit of a pain, so good luck. Monami, as you. Yeah, he's cheesy as fuck. He really is a noble bird. 
Never heard anything like that about you, you know. Probably a twisty business. All for today. Stay safe, everyone. Yay! So, where's Ryuta? Said he was going to the infirmary. We should go and see if he's still there. Never think about it. Yuta always did have a weak stomach. We should go to the infirmary just to make sure he's okay. He's been poisoned! Flying rat poison. No birdies here. No one's sleeping behind the curtains. The doctor isn't here either. Hunter gatherer instincts feel no presence. There's nobody here. Ryuta. No reply. The infirmary is empty. Weird. Did he go home already? Feel a little nervous poking around the empty room. Let's steal the drugs. Steal all the drugs. Just look at them, just all in that cabinet. I bet it's not even locked. Now that I think of it, I haven't been here much before. Unlike you, I'm perfectly healthy. Yes, he spied them. They've got all kinds of drugs in here. Ethyl par trifer lucio benzene. Uh, benzene means probably painkiller, would be my guess. You're gonna find out. Drug bird! Doctor, chew. I'll feed you all sorts of things if you want. Mm -hmm. This is the chunky bird we want. No, thank you. And he gets drowned to the chug of one fairies as well. Yes, Dave, we're a human about to fuck birds. Or trying to, anyway. Looks like he's about to explode. It's from all the drugs, Greg. That's what it is. Partridge is Iwamini Shoe, the school doctor. It's rather creepy in person and has a bad reputation among the student body. Everybody knows that even just talking to him can bring you down with aspergillus. Psittacosis are even worse things. I never heard him come into the door. Ninja doctor. Don't like have a good reason to be in here. Do you need something? Uh, I heard Ryuta. Kawara from 2-3 was supposed to be here. Him? He's already gone. Oh. Why didn't he come find me before going on? Sorry to bother you. I'll be going now. Finally out of that den of evil. Ryuta's already gone home. What do I do now? Oh. Never go around to joining a club last year. Now we've got to take a look at some of the options. We're going to join an after school club. Which is close to baseball, soccer, track, kendo, migration, bird watch. So if you go to a school for birds and you have a after school club for bird watching, is that just a club for perverts? Because that's what it sounds like. That's honestly what it sounds like. Wasn't there another one? Anyway, I'll start with the track team. No, I want to go to bird watching. I want to hide in bushes and watch other birds. It's how it works. It's always really watching the birds hop around. I think the club room is on the ground floor off to the side. White Dove is having trials. Cuckoo! <gasps> He's speaking bird. What an asshole. This is no pudding for a man. Coo! Okusan rejects it. It's a lie of his vicious, vicious falsification. Dancing around on a squished pudding. Hey, that's not very nice to the pudding. If he pecks me in the eye, he's going in a pie. What's gonna happen? This is Okusan. Doesn't really look it. 
supposedly he's a fan tail pigeon, I think. Either way, he's hyper. Cool. Oh, is it supposed to actually be pigeon noises? I wonder if I can still do it. I used to be able to do a decent bit with pigeon noise. Okusan has suffered a deception most vile, a wretched betrayal. Betrayal? Okusan instructed that pudding be provided for new members. But this is no pudding. Ousted, scorned, betrayed. Dragged into the street and shot by these, those he trusted most. It's squished and filthy, but the thing under his feet looks like normal store-bought pudding. What's wrong with it? Spare the jest, young lady. Marcus and your swing attack. It's super at what a cunt. You're right. This one's a cunt. He's going in a pie. The roll they day they crossed Okusan. He'll have them flayed, hanged, shot at dawn, he will. Okusan was now trained to achieve true pudding. Farewell. <laughs> Bastard bird. He's gone. That sounds like a good idea, Greg. We shall become Bird Voldemort. He's a good runner. What does Pudding have to do with the track team? So ended the first day of my second semester at St. Pigeonations. Uh, I think we ought to choose the class counts today. As you all know, this school doesn't require you to join any club. If you want to, you can, but if you don't, then you're free to go home after school. Okasan has time only for the track team. Good. What about you, Shiragani? A foolish question. I already hold a position here. Oh, that's right. You became student president when you were... Wow, he just automatically gets to be student president. Nick. Nepotism, ho! Don't we get a vote? Coming to school is enough for me. Take care of your mother on your own and all. wonder what I should do. Join the... Right, what do we want to do? Do we want to do student council, which will probably be posh bastard route? Track team, where we have evil villain pigeon man. Or library staff, where we can go after the nerd bird. What do you think we should do? Nerd bird. We're going to go after the nerd bird. Seems like a plan. Right, uh, library staff. We can make him uncomfortable and weird and stuff. <laughs> I want to get birds to be quiet. Seeds, Greg. Distract them with seeds everyone isn't it what I'm gonna do is I'll put a large large like pillar of millet in the middle of the library that's what they'll get for being quiet See, works with Archie and Pepe. She feed the millet and they shut up for a while. Today it's an elective day, what should I do? Hey, elective day, free, st free stuff. We will attend 
Ooh, what do we do? Math class, gym class, music class, and we have stats. We have wisdom one. I'm assuming that's vitality, 800. Charisma, five. Music. Greg answers first. We'll, we'll do music class. We sang birdie melodies. It was a little tiring, but singing together is fun. Notice how all the posters up over are still human composers. Because bird composers suck. Trouble leveled up. Charisma is increased by five. <laughs> score, score, score. Bird singing. I'm on receptionist duty today. Better hurry. Boring as usual. Library here doesn't seem to be very popular. Not enough books. On the fifth floor though, so at least the view is nice. Sitting here twiddling my thumbs is bad for me. Wish somebody would come and ask me something. Because you're intimidating all the birds with your opposable thumbs. But they don't have them, so sucks to be them. There's no birdie here. Wonder if it would be okay to close early. Yeah, where's no... Is he going to be hiding outside because he's too shy? Is that what it's going to be? We're sat here intimidating him. Uh, I wish I could just spread my wings and fly away. Plan to jump off the building? The window there is rather good for that, Miss Receptionist. Brutus. Nageki, Wendy, he's here. I've been here all along. Never noticed. He's almost as bad as the doctor. Thinking I have no presence, right? It's okay. I already know. Certainly seem to like this place. Yes, is that a problem? Um... Books are nice. They are. Why don't you join the library staff, Nageki? You can read whatever you want. I already read whatever I want. Touché. Shouldn't slack off, miss. Receptionist. With that, he takes a book and he's gone between the stacks. What a strange bird. Uh, sitting. Do we live in a cave? Is this implying we just live in a cave? Oh. Tomorrow is the class hike. Should I prepare anything? You won't be going far, so I don't have to. <gasps> How dare you, Greg. How dare you. Nageki is precious. He will be protected. Well, I'll first, I think I'll have some udon and go to sleep. Oh, now I want noodles. I'm going to have to have noodles later in the week. Today is the hike. We stopped for a break on the hillside. Who should I talk to? Who are our options? Ryuka, Kuya, San, Kazuaki. <gasps> you had sushi. Uh, let's talk to Ryuta. Ryuta's like our old friend. Ryuta, let's eat together. Sure, great for you, huh? Huh? Is that your lunch trouble? Yeah, it's a calorie, um... It's supposed to be calorie, mate. Pretty sad thing to bring on a foot picnic. Enjoy your look, Greg. No, it's not. Great Mount Mon said it's the ambrosia of the gods. Jeez, if you eat like that, you'll be dead on the roadside by the time we get back here. I'll share mine. Really, wow. Thanks, Ryuta. It's 
so I got to eat half of Ryuta's lunch. The cooking is so good. We can see save the calorie mate in case of a survival situation. <gasps> like if we get lost. Today is an elective day, what should we do? We can attend Math, Gym, Music. What should we do? Should we do music again and like max out that charisma? Let's do it. We shall do music again and we shall max out that charisma and become the sexiest. Today is music history lesson. So much thinking outside the box, I feel like I'm going to fly off the handle. But this is what Mozart is all about, I guess. I wonder if I've wakes felt like they look like they're wearing martigans? Armigans? I'm not sure how to say that. I'm going to say, I'm going to say tarmigans. So I'm guessing. So, I'm guessing, Manu, if it works like... Well, I'm just guessing off Dungeons and Dragons stats, where wisdom is like how smart you are. Like, how good you're, you are at using knowledge. Vitality is literally your health. And then charisma is like how pretty and how much... How easy it is to get people to like you and stuff. So I'm thinking we should max out charisma. And then we can seduce the nerd bird. Do you seek to mock the great master's lowborn philistine? Fuck you, Sakuya. Nobody likes you. Trouble leveled up. Charisma increased by five. Yeah, charisma 15. Uh, I imagine you're all well aware, but... The sports festival is right around the corner. Please think about what you'll do. Sports festival season already? If it were in the fall, it would conflict with the cultural festival, so it's always been in May. <gasps> what are you going to do, Ryuta? I haven't decided. Probably the three-legged race. Somebody already has to. Ooh. Okazan will handle the marathon. Indeed he will. You do have a lot of stamina, Okazan. What about you, Sakuya? You can't possibly expect me to run in some race, can you? It is a sports festival, so an event that doesn't involve running. How about being a cheer <laughs> cheerleader? <laughs> the general, in other words. Very well, leave it to me. Yeah, we're going to get him a dress and some pom-poms. Uh, I don't think that's... Also, the first aid team is always short-handed. Probably they could use help if anybody still can't decide. That's all for today. So Ryuta's doing the three-legged race. Okasan's running the marathon and Sakuya's a cheerleader. You, you might be running the first aid tent. Should I do? I'll have to think about it. Today's the sports festival. I like this music. Never did make up my mind. What should I do? Go to the... Library. Let's go to the library. It is the option that makes sense. Because we know who's going to be in the library. May is practically summer already. It's too hot. I think I'll rest in the library. Uh, much better. It's night that the AC is on. But do we really need it? Nobody's in here today. It's not on. <gasps> Shunageki. Shum is actually a bird. Wow, he called me by my name. 
You don't turn the air conditioner on until June. It just feels com cold compared to outside. <gasps> That's it. Be a little strange to start spending money to call a barely used library in May. Anyway, aren't you going to persist? But, 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 I've got to talk. Anyway, aren't you going to persist? Participate in the festival, Nageki? Aren't you? Eep. I don't like it outside. So I stay in here. That's all. Hmm, I see. Why are you sitting next to me? Do you mind? Not really. Um, listen, our class president got duped into being a cheerleader. And... Sorry. No. Keep going. So I spent the day telling him about the festival and whatnot while he read. Don't know how much he was listening to me, but he didn't seem to mind. I think. First barrier for all students who make it this far. The midterm exam. Getting them back today, I don't think I did it too well. Actually a bird. Yes. You worked hard. Keep going like that and you'll do just fine. Well, we are up against like actual pigeons. They are not the smartest birds of the bunch. Like maybe if there was like a raven. Or a magpie, or like a, a crow in here. They'd be smart, but no. They're fucking pigeons. Pigeons. One day you could surpass me. I'd love to see that. Guess I did pretty well after all. Mr. Nanaki seems happy with me today. Yay! With the festival in the midterm over, there's nothing to look forward to but summer heat. Don't smell kind of funny when it gets humid like this. Hi, Bort. How you doing? We're uh, we've set our sights on the nerdy bird in the library. He is our target. And the game has stats, so we're uh, increasing our charisma so we can overwhelm and seduce him. I'm good. The game is much, much sillier than I expected it to be. Like, much sillier. So, uh bunch of birds in front of the staff room. What are they doing? Oh yeah, and uh, I have Pepe here to help me today. Pepe is here to give advice if needed. Oh, there's Yuya. Yuya, what's going on? Salutations, trouble. Brian won his seventh full... <gasps> there's a bird called Brian! We need to tell Brina. We need to tell Brina he's in the bird dating game. He just does a news clipping on the staff room pinboard. Says Brian, the first intelligent pigeon crowned again. Hold on, I am gonna snip this. And send it to Brina. In fact, I'm going to post it in general chat. Bonnie. Tell me you don't know who he is. I think 
I've heard the name, but... He's the world's most famous blogger. He began when birds were barely intelligent. <gasps> Look at him. Very skilled and insightful writer. The one who suggested the Dove Olympics be called the Pidge Olympics. Wow. He's a genius. He's extremely influential. The name was adopted right away. But you're looking up right now, mon ami. Uh, he calls mon ami again. Yeah. Try googling Brian Pidge. Right, I'm going to actually google Brian Pidge and then see what comes up. That's for the hell of it. Brian Pigeon. Wow, it's an actual Twitter account. Actual Twitter account. Pigeon. Joe Joe blogging and twittering Pigeon who's been telling it how it is pigeons everywhere since 2006. It went on until at least 2018. It's amazing. I wonder what else it has. Yeah, 27, 2018. <laughs> Morbidly about <immersed> squirrels. <laughs> That's amazing. Okay. Okay. Uh oh, lunch is nearly over. Adieu, trouble. I still think he's cheesy. Today is a good day. I feel like I'm shining. What I should do during break? Go to the... Right. So we can go to the shop. We can go to the infirmary, which is where we'll find that doctor drug dealer. We can go to the cafeteria. I shall leave this choice up to you guys. Where should we go? store let's go to the store see what we can buy don't really need anything but i think i'll go to the store never really looked around there before wow they got all sorts of things for sales well these nest building materials what would you find in human stores trash my how much are you money me planning to settle down already <gasps> you yeah uh, no, that's not it. I'm still a high school student. Maybe so, but you know, we doves reach sexual maturity within a year of birth. Creep. Creep. No, that seems a little hasty. I decide what are you here to buy, you, yeah? Your love, of course. <gasps> yeah. We're not. I'm not good enough. Oh, well. Try again later. So he talks to every girl he meets. Yeah, he's a bit of a creep. Rude. A little rude, you hear? What is? Sort of loose talk, like a game or something. I am not a slut, you hear? Maybe what you're used to. Maybe Pepe's a slut, but I am not. Surprised. Thank you, Manami. I'll carry this warning in my pigeon heart forever. Adieu. Uh, he still said it. Today is an elective day. What should I do? Attend. Music. Your power level charisma. You all have to stand up and sing solos today. Oh, I'm nervous. 
His voice is beautiful. Wow, Manu, how dare you? How dare you? Double leveled up, charisma increased by five. 20 charisma. Today is tan butter. Don't know what that is. Probably a bamboo tree in the plaza this year too. Think I'll go make a wish. There's a lot here already, any birdie I know. Wait, I, this seems a bit like rude. Like these are like wishes people have put there for a tradition and a ceremony. We're just grabbing them and reading them. Nosy bitch. May mother stay healthy this year and may my stomach get better. Ryuta. Can you hear the song of the stars above? May they send you happiness. No. No. You, uh, you are cheese. Morning conference on 10th. Leave 30 minutes early. Buy another alarm cup. May I wake up on time? Nanaki. Wednesday is garbage day. Remember! Should I wish for. <gasps> yes! So, do we conquer the world by, first, by force? Do we become Bird Hitler? Do we rule the world from the shadows? Like, like, Vo Bird Voldemort. Or do we become a famous artist? Like Weird Al Yankovic. I'm gonna say... We want to rule world from shadows. We shall be secret Illuminati bird. I wish to take the reins of power through clever schemes... Schemes? And rule the world from the shadows. <gasps> Hello, is that you actually a bird? Mr. Nanaki. Be careful out this lake. It can be dangerous for a girl, you know. It's about to head home. Would you like me to walk you to your place? Um. Um. What do we do? It can be dangerous for us. Do we let him walk us home? Oh, it is doing it a bit, Bart. I'm dropping a few frames. Give me a second. Give me a second, I'm just going to make sure my PlayStation's like not going to download anything. Just making sure it's not trying to download all the shit while I'm playing. Um. Still getting dropped frames, but they seem to have settled. Fingers crossed. Mm. 
Yeah, I think it was my PlayStation trying to download stuff in the background. Stupid PlayStation. Yeah, I'm not getting any more dropped frames, so... Must be it. Stupid thing. Anyway. Do we let this dude walk us home or not? He said it could be dangerous, so... We could get, like, attacked or something, or... Yeah, we'll let him walk us home. He seems nice. Yes, please. All right. Mr. Nanaki demonstrated some extreme sleeping on the way home, but we arrived eventually. Your house is very, uh, rustic, actually, a bird. Yeah, no, it's a cave. I like it this way. It's wonderful to have a place to come back to, isn't it? Wonderful indeed. He looks a little sad. Um, sir. See you tomorrow. Don't forget your homework. And so we left, a somewhat hollow sounding farewell echoing behind him. Was it just my imagination? Today's an elective day. What should I do? Attend music. Placed in charge of the timpani today. Last time it was the gong. Supposed to be the musical gorilla. Trouble leveled up. Charisma increased by five. Better not be Manu. That's illegal. Or maybe not in Japan, but it's illegal here at least. Got our finals back today. Not sure I did too well. Actually a bird. Sir. Well done. You've done even better. Keep up the good work. Yes, sir. Success. Today's the last day, it's been a semester already. Sometimes it seems long and sometimes it seems short, but either way, it's summer now. Check all the assigned books before I go home. There'll be a pretty lot of students coming into town to borrow the summer reading pretty soon. Today is the closing ceremony, so there are even a few birds in here than usual. Am I the only one? Well, that just makes my job easier. No, no, no. He'll be here. He will be, because he's a ninja. Nageki is a ninja bird, and he will be here waiting for us. Nageki, please. Probably not alone. I've seen this situation before. Nageki? No reply, maybe he's not here. Are you here, Nage? Please be quiet in the library. See, he is here. He's a ninja. Hello. Rather noisy today. Did you want something? Nope, I was just wondering if you were here. Of course, I'm always here. He replies from his corner, somewhat annoyed tone of voice. The book he's holding. That's a sign reading this semester. Is it any good? Not really. I'm almost done with it. It forces its safe, ethical viewpoint on the reader, like all assigned reading. Whole concept is a name. Why force everyone to read the same books? Pretty boring most of the time. Do you like to read? Huh? You volunteered to work here, so you must like books. I was wondering what to read next. She wants me to recommend something? He nods. What about... Right, what are our options? Night on the Galactic Railroad or Orahato. Right, let's see what these are. Are these real things? Night on... The Galactic Railroad it is a real thing. Then the Galactic Rail Tales, sometimes called Milky Way Road, Night to the Train Stars, or Fantasy Rail of the Stars. Classic Japanese fantasy novel by Kenji Miyazawa, written around 1927. Uh, boy goes on a fishing trip while his mother's ill. 
Uh, he's going to take jobs, deliver his papers and stuff. Uh, ask what the Milky Way is made of. Knows it's formed of stars, but unable to say. Kurt is an elderly woman at the dairy. Says that he needs his milk, and the woman asks him to come back later. He ends up going on like a magical train ride across the stars. And he has a magic ticket that lets him go anywhere. Yeah, it's a bit of a sad ending. Like, his friend ends up dying in that one. And then Orahato, let's have a look at that. Orahato is... Oh, it's about basically like a nerdy dude with a creepy little sister. Uh, we'll go for Orohato. What about my little nickel bar can't be this cute? I liked it. Never heard that name before. What is it? It's a light novel that came out last month. It's about an incredibly sundaring nickel bar with a complex and her faceless male protagonist brother and... I see. He sounds extremely uninterested. Don't look down on light novels. Carino is cute. Easy to follow up Rathis and get fat and lazy during the summer vacation. Hunter Gatherer's body is her way of life, so maybe I'll go running today. Run, run, run. Wow, was that a destroyed city we saw for a second? Ah, that was a good run. A true running girl's way to start the vacation. I don't know how far I ran, I always lose track of where I'm going once the runner's eye kicks in. Where am I? So I wandered out my usual stomping grounds at some point. Where did I come from? Don't fail me now, paleolithic homing instinct. Sun setting, I'd rather not sleep outside. Hey you! Meh? Don't know you. Where'd you come from? <laughs> Sparrow stands next to me, squinting up at my face. Her wing is resting on a motor scooter. Mm. It's a bit vintage, how cute. I feel a strange pressure. Can't tell right away that Sparrow isn't just anybody. Uh, I'm from St. Pigeonations. I was out for a run and got lost. I ran all the way from there. You must be good. But a two hour drive from here. What? Why my legs hurt? I wonder if I'll be able to run home again. Mm -hmm. But the cut of your jib. Anyone that disarming still to ride home. Come on. Intimidating sparrow gestures of her scooter. A little small, but we should both fit, I think. Uh, thank you. What do you ask your name? Koshiba Azami. I saw Takoyaki! Yay! Call me Azami. And thank you, Azami. We're gonna ride home. You're a very cautious driver. Car it into your soul, kid. One accident is all it would take, and that would be the end of both of our lives. Nah, yours maybe. May seem strange to a young girl like you, but once you've lost someone, you'll understand. A far off look in her eyes. I'm sure you know what you're talking about. At this rate, I might get home faster by walking. Do you think we'll get there by dawn? Carve it into your soul. It's 
speed limit for scooters is 30 kilometers an hour. Not even going that fast. Following traffic laws is part of my credo. So riding tandem against the law too. That role is for humans. Birds are light, so one or two more it doesn't stop the brakes from working. We're fine like this. But I'm not a bird. So we put along at Azami's hyper cautious speed. By the time we got to my house, it was almost light out. Wow. Still a long time until the semester starts, and I still have a lot of homework. Maybe I should apply for a part time job since I have the chance. I'll. Job time! Yeah, some places are mean like that, Bart. I think we should get a job. Because I'll fly at the station hiring high school students over the summer. It was a cafe, right? Manu, 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 we're going to go and work at a maid cafe. That's what we're going to do, a maid cafe. It's beautiful in here. Oh my! <gasps> Pardon me, miss, but we're not open yet. We come back at noon. Oh, sorry, I was here to ask about the job. The priority of the cafe is an extremely elegant parakeet. A true gentle bird, without a doubt. This be what people mean when they refer to a mature attractiveness. All the students at school are young and hyper, and the most dignified birds there are the teachers. Oh, is that right? Okay. I am called Rushihara Kanzaburo. I am the owner of Torimi Cafe. I am actually a bird troll. <laughs> He's very pretty. Welcome, Miss Trouble. I hadn't expected a human. Uh... Are you going to interview me? Well, I do not see any need to test such a wonderful lady's desire to work here. But if you've been much more capable than I am moving the boxes of coffee and tea about, I'll be glad to. After all, I am a, vi a vitality girl. That's a weird, weird way of saying it. <laughs> yeah, there's so many different species of bird. Somebody did the research making this game. Perhaps a little sudden, but could you start tomorrow? Of course. I'm glad I should be waiting for you here in my cage. Tomorrow then, Miss Trouble. Today's my first day working at Mr. Urushihara's cafe. I think I'll leave early to make a good impression. Ah, I see more dropped frames. Bad internet. No biscuit for you. trouble. Good morning, sir. Let me start by showing you where everything is. I'm sure you'll be able to remember everything soon, so please ask if you can't find something. Shows me around the cafe, explaining everything inside. 
Shop is small and he keeps everything very tidy, so I'll be able to remember it all. Well then, what do you think? It's very nice. I almost want to move in. Come now, it's far too plain for a lady such as yourself. Cats my hat. Excuse me. Mm, I saw the flyer. It's Ryuta. Ryuta? Trouble, what are you doing here? Friend of yours, Miss Trouble? Oh yes, this is Ryuta. Came for the job too, Ryuta. You know, so it starts at noon, so I couldn't fit it in after my other job. Already got the position, then that's that. Shihara, could you use two people? Hmm. Sadly, my cage is too small to have that much work to do. I should. Right. So, do I do the job or do I give it to our buddy Ryuta? He does have to look after his mum who is not well. I say we'd be nice and give it to him. What do you guys think? think we should give it to him but leave it up to you guys yeah give it away mr urushihara do you think you could take ryuta instead of me trouble don't see why not but don't really need the job but ryuta does don't worry he's a hard worker Are you sure trouble it's not really fair to you i do feel a little bad leaving on my first day too but Rita works several jobs every summer to support his mother. Yeah, I think it might actually be just my internet being fucky. It's for the best. No, you'll do a good job, Rita. Thanks, Trouble. Well then, my country has been as transient as a comet's tail on the horizon, but I am glad I met you. Please do stop by. I will always be here, Miss Trouble. I will thank you, Mr. Urushihara. Today is the local summer festival. I think I'll go with somebody. Invite... Nageki. You shall come with us. I'll invite Nageki. He needs to get out more. I don't know his address or his phone number. Go look in the library if the school weren't already closed. Now that I think about it, I only know him as the depressed freshman who's always in the library. To learn more about him, though, he'd probably never tell me anything if I asked. Ah, uh, going out is too much trouble. I think I have some udon and go to bed. Today is my day as receptionist. Nobody here as usual. Maybe I should work on the newspaper. The Geki. <gasps> He's here! Yes. Do you have a minute? What is it? Want to write a book review? I'm working on the library newspaper and there's a corner open, so I thought... Can't you write one yourself? I'm always writing them. We never get submissions, so the book reviews are just turning into our personal soapbox. Perhaps it would be better to remove them from the paper. My thoughts are exactly. I'd like to see how you'd write one, though. It doesn't have to be very long, either. I'll write one later and leave the paper there. Yay, thank you. I think that's everything for September issue. <clears throat> I know I should have gotten up when I first woke up. It's locked way too late. School starts today, right? 
I'm going to be lit. Oh, hello, actually, a bird. Sir, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I overslept. Overslept. Ah, oh, my homework, I forgot to bring my homework. Aren't you getting a little bit ahead of yourself, actually, a bird? Hmm? The number top left hand corner, say. Oh, just a little bit early. Yeah, here, could give me a heavy hand for a bit, actually a bird. Do you have a hand? It's about to start grading the freshman's exams. Thought maybe you could help if you don't have something else. Of course you have a test in September, so if you want to go and study in the library. I want to go to the library where Nageki will be. He shall not escape us. He shall be mine. I really should be up now, I think I'll go study. I'm um, sorry sir, I'm not sure I've fed enough for my test. I'd like to go study if that's alright. Uh, of course, work hard, okay. Right, I think I'm going to get through this bit and then end the stream because I can see it just like bottoming out constantly. So, a number of students working in the library. Looks like mostly third years. Probably all decided on their colleges and careers already. Will I be that frantic this time next year, I wonder? So yeah, we shall finish this bit and then I'll end the stream. Nageki is here too, leaning against a bookshelf in the far corner. Nageki. Miss Ashley a bird? Did you need something? Why are you over here? There's still plenty of seats open. You should sit down. I don't mind standing. You look like you mind. You don't like being near other birds, is that it? He nods. They'll just, they'll just ignore me anyway. Whether or not I go near. Nageki, are you being? I think he's being bullied. He falls silent. Something wrong, I'd like to help. Uh, good morning, everyone. Hope you have fun over the summer. Oh, oh Kasan is always having fun. Right, so this is the beginning of a new section. It's like 1st of September, so we shall finish here. So we shall save, because there is a save button. We're going to save here. We're going to cross save. Go. There we go. So yeah, we, we'll finish there here just because internet is being fucky. But I will continue again on Thursday. So Thursday, I am. Uh, I'm working a bit late on Thursday. I'm just gonna double check. Is it Thursday? Yeah, so Thursday I am working late, but I will stream this again after Thursday. So... Yeah, it is a fun game. I enjoyed it. It's just internet being fucky. So what we'll do, we're, we're going to raid over to... Mal, because I'm pretty sure she's still alive. She better be anyway. 
I think Dave jinxed me mentioning fuck the internet at the start. It's his fault. Anyway, we shall raid Maud. And then Thursday after work, because I don't have anything else I'm going to be doing then, I shall stream some more of the bird game for everybody. So I'll put a note in Discord reminding everyone, and I shall see you all Thursday. Bye-bye.